All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the Ohm Tether Locker from Innovating the Outdoors, and this just might be the MVP of your one sticking setup. So this is my entire one sticking setup. What we have here is a modified Shakar mini stick. I modified it by adding a shaper cam cleat, full berry rope mod, a double step to the top of the stick, a gear tie, and then a three step aider. Uh, if you have any questions in regards to this stick, if you go into my playlist under one sticking, I have an entire video showing what I did to this stick. I also have a custom gear modification dropout bag. Now, this is also customized because I had Jerry add these retention straps, which will hold my Shakar mini stick right to the dropout bag. So that's pretty slick. And then I've added also 34 feet of Dynaglide for a pull down rope and also a bow letdown rope. And I spliced S beaners onto both ends of these, one to attach to my rope system and then one to let my bow down. If you have any questions on splicing Dynaglide or you wanna see that, uh, also go to that one sticking playlist and there you'll see a video dedicated to this Dynaglide. Inside the bag, I have 34 feet of Canyon nine millimeter and then I have the coveted Mad Rock and also a carabiner. And so that basically sums up my entire one sticking setup minus whatever platform I decide to hunt off of. If I hunt with my Predator, my total system comes to seven pounds. And so I'm pretty happy with that, especially uh, the real estate that the Predator gives me in moving around the tree and stuff like that. So this is my one sticking setup. I've been working on it since, I don't know, March or April of, of this year. And I finally got it to a place where I'm comfortable with it and I really like it. But there has been a recent ad to my system, and that is the tether locker from Innovating the Outdoors. Now, when you're one sticking, there's a problem that you have to solve. And that is essentially as you go to attach your tether or your rappel rope to the tree, when you let go, you can see it automatically wants to fall down. Depending on what it is, it can drop all the way down. And so when I first started one sticking, the recommendation was using the night eyes gear tie. You'd wrap that around the back of your scaffold knot, and then you could wrap it also around your rope that would secure it in place. I've done it. I've practiced with it. I've used it for months like that. But there was a few things that I didn't like. One, I didn't like to have to continually twist this around the rope. And then when I want to uh, go up the tree, then I'd have to untwist it and advance my tether up the tree. Also, user error, there were several times that I totally forgot to untwist this and I'd rappel down the tree and I'd try to pull on it and realize that I never untwisted the night eyes gear tie. And also there's times where when I put weight on it, it would suck the gear tie up in and it just, it worked, but it wasn't perfect. And so I have since gotten rid of this. I have watched a video, I don't know, a month or two ago from a friend, Spencer Valerie, on his saddle hunting channel and he featured in that video the ohm tether locker from innovating the outdoors and when i saw how it worked immediately i said that's something i gotta have and add to my system so the or the ohm tether locker was the last thing that i've added to my one sticking system and boy i'm glad i did this thing is just slick it works super super well and so let me just demonstrate how you would run this tether locker first it's am steel and then your locker here, you got a, a loop on one side, and then you got a loop just below your actual locker. So you're going to girth hitch this right by your scaffold knot. Now, originally I girth hitched it in the back, and that works great. Uh, recently, in the last couple hunts, there were times where I, I, I noticed that the rope or this tether locker started kind of sliding around, and I'd have to grab it and bring it back. So since I've just brought I've brought the tether locker to the front of my scaffold hitch right here and I'll just on my scaffold knot and I'll just cinch it down right there. Plus I'd rather pull on my delta length than back here on the rope. So that works as well. And so you'll attach it there as you advance up the tree and you're ready to set a seat into the tree like so. You take the locker portion and you just simply attach it right below, right below your delta length. 
and it holds it in place nicely. And so let's say I want to advance up the tree. I've climbed up. All, you, all, I, all I have done is simply take the tether locker, slide it down four, three to four inches maybe. That will give you enough to loosen up your rope. I don't want to go out of frame, but you can see you loose enough to loosen up your rope around the tree. You advance it, and then you'll pull it tight. Of course, I'll be attached to my saddle, so there'll be a little pressure on it. And with one hand, I simply slide the tether locker back up like so. So again, it's so simple. Just pull it down advance your tether, slide it right back underneath like so. Now, the one thing I really like about this is it eliminates user error on my part because that second loop just below your locker there, what you do is you attach your s beaner right there into that loop. I missed the loop. There we go, into the loop. And now as you go, as you go to drop your bow down, you repel out of the tree, all you do is you take your pull down rope now and you can pull on that, the locker comes off and then you can pull your rope system right out of the tree. So you don't have to worry about not untying your gear tie. So again, this is so slick. And uh, I'm not gonna belabor this video, it's just a short, quick video, but this is the last piece that I've added to my one sticking setup and it just might be the MVP. If not the MVP, it's super, super close. It just has made climbing the tree so much easier and so it's twelve dollars innovating the outdoors i think you'll be pleased if you go over and you check it out if you don't already have one of these hey guys thanks for watching if you haven't already subscribe like that helps me out and until next time good luck in the woods